Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to uh, fill in the K maps, the kind of maps, uh, whether you have a two variable, three variable, four variable, and at the end I'm going to show you how, you, if you have a five variable K map, how to fill this in. Alright, so let's first proceed with the two variable K map. If you have a two variable K, if you have a two variable truth table, which means that a truth table that has two columns as an input and one column as an output, you, then, you, then the K-map that you're going to fill in consists basically of a square. It looks like a square. A, B, and then 0, 1, 0, 1. All right? How do you fill this in? You fill in the, fir the zero row here. All right? The first row is filled in here. And here, you fill in the second row. All right? And here you fill in the third row. Right. So let's begin with okay, so let's begin with the two variable K map. What is the two variable K map? You have two uh, inputs for the truth table and you have one output, right? And this one output is the function that you're going to uh, implement, that you're going to fill in the values of inside the K-map. So you have A on the horizontal, which takes the values 0 and 1, and B on the vertical. It doesn't really matter whether you put the A on the horizontal or the vertical, but stick to what you have, all right? A and B, then this is 0 and 1 as well. For the 0, 0, you put it here, which is the 0 throw, right? So the value that comes here is to be put here, right? And I'm going to give you an example in a moment, right? And that's the first row, right? The second row is 1, 0, and that's the third row, right? So that's how you fill in the key. So if, for instance, you have 0, 1, and 0, 0, 1, 1, right? So how we fill in this key map? Well, we fill it in like that. 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, because it's 0, 1, 2, 3, right? So, if it's not clear, let's begin with the three variable K map. The three variable K maps K -map lets us tell, tells us the following. We put the A, B, like that. Right? And then we put the C like that. A, B on the horizontal, C on the vertical. 0, 1. And here 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. Right? Which means that we're going to fill in the K map like that. 0, so 0, 0, that's the 0 term, 0, 0, 0, 0. Right? And then this is 1. And then 2, and then 3, which corresponds to the third row, 0 row, 1st row, 2nd row, 3rd row, and then 4 at the final column, 5, remember the 4 is not at the 3rd column, 4 is at the 4th column, and 5, 6, and 7, alright? So, if we have this example, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. How do we fill in this table? See? 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. Right? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 0, 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, Okay, 0, 1, 2, 3, 1, 0, right, 2 and 3, right, corresponds to 2 and 3 here, 4, 5, 6, 7, 4, 5, 6, 7, so 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, right, so this is the easiest way that you fill in a K map with. I urge you to study this uh, K map very well, 
to study these numbers, how they are organized, so that whenever you have a K-map, you do not have to look at the values of 0, 0, 0, 0, and compare to them to these values, okay, which is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, and so on. Just remember these numbers, all right, and you'll be able to fill in any, K, any three variable K-map pretty much similarly, all right? So, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. So you fill it in the first column, you fill it in column-wise, the first column, the second column, the third column, no, the, the first, the second, the fourth, and then the third, right? Let's look at the four variable K map. The four variable K map has 16 rows, all right? The way that I listed it is I listed AD on the horizontal, CD on the vertical. If you want to list it the other way around, it doesn't really matter, but stick to what you have started with, right? So, AD is 0, 0. 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, and this is a great code, so remember that 1, 1 precedes the 1, 0, alright, and then you fill it in column ones. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, right, 0, 1, 2, 3, 2 goes at the final, at the final row, right, 0, 1, 2, 3, right? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, right? So 0, the number that is here, the, the, the bit that is here, which is, for instance, if it's 0, it goes at the 0. If this is 0, it goes at the one position, at the first position. If it's a zero here, then we go at this position. If this is a one, then it goes at the third position, which is this one, right? Let's have an example, zero, 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 one, 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 zero, one, zero, zero, one, one, zero, zero, one, zero, right? So how am I gonna fill this in? A, B, C, D, right, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, okay? Right, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, right? 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, right? So that's the first four. The second four, 1, 1, 0, 1. Remember, I'm doing it column-wise, not row-wise. Why? Because I've chosen the CD to be on the, uh, on the vertical, while AB I chose it to be on the horizontal. Okay, let's have a look at this one. So one one zero one 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 zero one zero zero one one. Okay, zero zero one one, and then finally zero zero one zero 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 one zero. Right, and this is how you fill in. A K map, a four variable K map. Okay, so remember, you, you start with A, B on the horizontal, C, D on the vertical, and you then begin counting column ones. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay? If, well, so you might ask, yeah, what if I do it the other way around? I put the A, B on the vertical and C, D on the horizontal. Well, this will actually transpose this, this table. You will begin filling it row-wise. However, I do not really recommend uh, you flip, you change your, uh, you change your mind a lot. Stick to whatever you have as a plan. If you want to, uh, if you want to follow this, uh, this table this, uh, this way, just follow it till you, you end, up, uh, end, this, uh, end this class and uh, do not choose any other, any other method. Right? Because you're going to confuse yourself.
right? So, now what if we want to do a five variable k-map? Let me quickly give you the five variable k-map idea. As you might expect, it's going to be 32 rows. We are going to fill in two four variable k-maps. B, C, D, and E. So you might expect that the five variable k-map is going to be something like that. A, A, let me do it again. It's going to be A, B, C, D, E. Starting from five zeros and ending up to five ones. And that is F. Zero up to 31. How are we going to do this? We're going to start from B and C. We're going to skip this A, right? And then start from B, C, B, C, D, E, right? Zero, 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 one, 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 zero. Zero, 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 one, 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 zero. Repeat this again. B, C, D, E. Zero, 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 one, 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 zero. Zero, 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 one, 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 zero. Right? This maps to A equals zero, and this maps to A equals one. Right? And this is how we're going to fill it in. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. So all these rows go in pretty much the same as before. The only difference is that you have two maps. Those numbers exceed those numbers respectively by exactly 16 values, all right? So you add 16 to this, it becomes this. You add 16 to the 1, it becomes 17. Add 16 to the 15, it becomes 31, okay? It's basically the same, the same idea, except that you remember that you, the most significant bit, which is the A, is the one that is skipped, is the one that is mapped into two k-maps, right? And if you have any questions, please let me know.